Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Cottage Living Part 2. I'm so excited to play more. Thank you so much for all your feedback on the first episode. I'm so glad you guys liked it and like our little family. We're basically continuing right where we left off last time. April is at school. She's slacking off and I think what I'm going to do today, like I said in the last episode, is focus on the aspiration and also on our errands because we really need some money. Our money is running low. So I think that sounds like a good idea. I kind of wanted August to interact with our animals as well. Bok bok to Poppy, whatever that means. We're gonna do it because the toddler interactions with the animals are so freaking adorable. And I think he would be excited because he's lived in the city his whole life. He's never really seen animals this close up, especially farm animals. I'm sure he's seen like dogs or something out on the street. This is so cute. But yeah, this is his first time interacting with farm animals. So I want him to really like get to know them. And I feel like he would really like fall in love with the farm life and the animals and maybe he could become a vet or a farmer when he grows up. I just think that sounds perfect for him. So, oh no. Okay, well that is not a good first interaction. Oh no, he's sad. He got pecked at. Okay, is he gonna go cry? Oh, I'm so sorry. That was not a good <laughs> first interaction. I'm gonna, um, okay, well. Our chicken's running away. What I wanted to actually do was to rename the chicken because I realized after I finished recording the last episode that I think it would be a better idea if you guys got to name the animals that we get in this series. So I left a comment in the last episode asking for name suggestions. And I think what I've chosen to go with is the name Angel. I think that sounds really, really cute. So this comment is from Elsie Kitty Queen, who always comments on my videos. So thank you so much for this suggestion. So for the future, feel free to leave comments on the episodes, whether it's for chickens or cows or whatever animals we end up getting. You can also name the bunnies. Um, I'm not sure if you can name the foxes and the birds you can't name, but if you guys have name suggestions, leave them in the comments and then whenever we do get a new animal and we can afford them, I'm going to pick one of the names from the comments and I think that would be super, super fun. So, I'm going to leave... Well, I was going to say I'm going to leave August here, but actually he's going to be sent off to daycare because I want to go visit the other neighborhoods in the new world. I think we should head on over to the Bramblewood. And this is also a great place for foraging. So maybe we can find some plants to forage. Not sure if they would have grown yet. Yeah, August has been sent to daycare. Oh my God, and he acquired the potty skill. That is so good. So yeah, we're now two out of three. I have not seen this world um, in springtime before. What is she doing? She's playing in the little pond. Oh my god, with the ducks. I mean, girl, you got your shoes on, but sure. If that's what you want to do. There's some sims over here. Over here, we have the flock of wild birds. We could go check those out. Just give me a moment and I'm going to check if I can find any plants. Oh my god, Sarah's here as well. I love her outfit for her athletic wear. She's even wearing earbuds listening to her music. Oh my god, she's such a mood. Oh my god, and I want to check out this area actually. So we have this like huge like swirly maze looking thing. So this is in the Bramblewood area and then in the middle we have a big statue and oh my god you can take a selfie with it so i definitely want to do that and you can search it so we need to search and see what is going on with this statue why is it even here i don't know but let's uh, let's get a nice aerial view <laughs> of june running on over let's do three times speed yes and let's take a selfie with this nail oh my god she's stunning she's so pretty i want to get the how am I gonna get the snail in the picture? 
maybe like that she looks so good so let's uh <laughs> take a selfie and then let's get to searching i want to know what's in here oh okay so she's just gonna be digging down here seeing if she can find something if we could find something really useful that would be amazing oh my god june found something maybe she should hide something in exchange for someone else to find how to keep finchwick's traditions going <gasps> wait that's so cute what did we find that's our picture <laughs> we found sage okay sure what can we really hide in here i mean i guess we'll just hide another vegetable this is the package that we need to find the owner to so let's um hide a taro root <laughs> in case someone else comes looking you know we don't want to leave it empty so we don't ruin the tradition for anyone the only plants that i found so far haven't been fully grown yeah like here we have a blueberry so we have to wait for that to grow i am gonna have her come over here though also i just realized my window was open i'm sorry if it was noisy it is closed now oh there's another bush we do have like raspberries and blueberries that i've seen i even saw some mushrooms oh here's something else here's chocoberries oh wait so this is actually fully grown let's go harvest all the chocoberries we need to plant some of those i really want to do that i feel like they'll be useful for lo loads of different errands here are some nightly mushrooms but they aren't fully grown yet they aren't harvestable holy crap she's taking her time <laughs> Getting back from Sophie the Snail. Oh my god, I love this bridge. Okay, so you can walk over this like fallen log. I love that. Such a cool detail. But April is back home from school. That's fine. She's going to be going home. She's probably just going to go on her phone, text all her old friends, you know, check on what they're doing on social media. And she's going to be so sad and feel so left out seeing all her friends continue their lives in the city while she's stuck over here anyways here we are going to get our chocolate berries that will be good how many did we get so we just got one oh my god oh what are you doing don't take our don't take our raspberries so this is actually the creature keeper i feel like we should go do an introduction he's a very important character he is the only person who sells clothes for the animals and he's also one of the villagers that you can do errands for so we definitely need to meet him we can check what errands he has maybe we could get one from him holy lag I have found that if your game lags, all you need to do is save the game and then it works a lot better. At least for me. <laughs> That's what works for me. I want to do this. Have a Hanford heart to heart. I want to know what he has to say. And then maybe we can get to know him a little bit. He's not my favorite character, but maybe he'll grow on me. I find him a little bit creepy. But yeah, the critters love it when you spend time with them. I speak to them all the time. I tell them about my day, about what I ate, dates I've gone on that were awkward and regretful. Um, where were we? The critters, right? Yes, very good listeners. See what I mean? He's a bit of a weird guy. <laughs> But it seems like he doesn't have a lot of friends apart from the critters, but he's an animal enthusiast just like us. So we do have stuff in common with him. So we are going to ask what errands he has to offer us. And yeah, his house is actually over here across this bridge. This is his little house. Um, and he has this like really, really nice yard with bunnies and a little pond. And that's where he's growing a lot of plants as well. But here are the errands that he currently has so this one he's asking for mushrooms this one he's asking for ingredients this one i have no idea there's a lot of nature out there and try as i might i can't keep an eye on all of it i wouldn't mind having a second set of hands from time to time interesting something between a friend and a business partner you know think that could be you and the rewards are an assortment of fruit wool and a piece of animal clothing so let's get that what does he want us to do converse with two foxes what does the fox say wait don't answer that's a rhetorical question because you haven't gone and talked to one yet come woman <laughs> what he just said come woman okay come woman 
Am I not making myself clear? Run along and talk to a fox. I must know what's on our woodlands friend's minds. He's kind of weird. At least as someone, you know, who's from the city. We, I mean, wouldn't you find him kind of peculiar? <laughs> Anyways, I think we're gonna go to the last part now. Unless I can spot a fox somewhere. But I mean the last part of this world, which would be the town of Finchwick, I'm assuming. All right, here we are. <laughs> oh yeah, we completed the milestone. All right, great. So what is next for this? I'm just gonna have her do her thing. We need to befriend a chicken cow llama. We need to place one wild rabbit home or the bird home on our lot, which means we need to make really good friends with the birds or a rabbit. And then we need to fertilize our crops. That should be okay. What I really need to do actually is like, try and offer this um weird package to some people around here i have no idea how to do that oh but while we're here we need to order and drink a bagley berry fizz sampler can we do that before we've done the first part of this i don't think so so let's see if we can actually buy those berries from here that would make the most sense i think i think i already bought them and then i accidentally used all of them <laughs> when i had her made make fruit salad so i'm gonna have to buy them again but that's okay i know we already have a chocoberry but i would really like to plant that so let's see if she is selling them i don't want to buy a lot of other stuff because we're gonna need our money we don't have that much left but she does have the blueberries we also need raspberry and chocoberry so here we have the chocoberry and then uh, there it is raspberry so i'm gonna buy two so that i can plant one I think that should be all of them. Now we can come over here and hopefully deliver these. Ooh, deliver blueberry, raspberry, and chocolateberry. Let's do that. That's the first part of this errand. I think this is like one of the first things we're doing when it comes to errands. I wonder how much, okay, how much money this makes. 175, not bad. Okay, here we go. Sarah, I've got your berries. I hope you like them. Oh my god, she's giving a proper present to her. That's good. Okay, this will do it nicely for what I have in mind. Come see me at the bar and I will concoct a little something. I'm calling a Bagley Berry Fizz. That's bursting with berries. So let's um order a sampler of that. Oh my god, she wants more stuff now. So now she wants uh, two different kinds of mushrooms. She wants the charming mushroom and a vernon mushroom. We can check the shops for this, but we might have to just forage for those. But here is the drink sampler. That's really good. I'm gonna come introduce ourselves to some of these other villagers so that I could try to offer the package to them. I still haven't figured that one out. Oh my god, here! Offer village package! What is offer a Finchwick favor? We need to check that out, but please, let's offer the package to her. I need to try this out. I haven't been able to offer it to anybody. It's probably not for her, but at least she, she might give us like a hint of who it belongs to. No, she's giving us a nope. I don't know what package you're talking about. Well, that is a shame, but let me figure out what this other thing is. Offer Finchwick favor. I can just give her something and it has something to do with like another tradition, I'm assuming. I'm gonna give her a mushroom. I don't know what this will do for us, but I feel like we should get in the good graces of everyone who lives in this little town, especially the mayor. She seemed like she enjoyed that. Okay, well, that's good. Oh my god, Rahul is here as well. So I'm gonna try to offer it to him. I already forgot who gave us that errand. Like, was it from her? I'm assuming if it was from Kim, I'm not gonna be able to offer it to her. But I'm gonna try Rahul once we introduce ourselves. Nope, he is not the right person either. Oh, crap. I think we should go home though. It's 9 p.m. Our kids are home alone, so we gotta head back. Not that April can't take care of August for a night. She's more than capable. She won't be too happy with it because, you know, she doesn't want to be the babysitter, but she does really love her brother, even though he's definitely annoying sometimes. We're home. What are our kids doing? April's watching the TV and she's on her phone and little August is getting food maybe? 
Should April do her homework? Oh, she's going to bed. Well, I guess she's not doing her homework for today. She's not doing great at school, but I mean, she did just start and she's not really interested in doing great. Angel, are you coming inside the house? Okay, sure. I mean, hello. Are you asking for attention? I <laughs> do you not want you in the house. Well, let's um, talk to our chicken quickly. Make sure that she's all good. Oh, that's so cute. We definitely should put August to bed. All right, I got rid of some weeds on our farm. August is asleep with April and I'm gonna put June to bed now as well. It is almost midnight and then we will continue in the morning. Is it snowing? What is this? What is this? Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. Stunning! All right, April is up very early. It is 5 a.m. This would be the perfect time to sneak out, but she really needs to take care of her needs. That's fine. I'm gonna have her brush her teeth as well. Get ready for school, you know, maybe she can freshen up on the mirror. I love her so much. Honestly, like she's such a mood, always. And look at her, she's so pretty as well absolutely adore her. While we're having breakfast, we of course need to check the social media timeline. Maybe we can add to our same Instagram story. I think I want to take a selfie as well. Maybe we should go outside like over here and take a selfie of us on the farm. She would caption it something like, look where I am. This is disgusting. Can you believe I have to live here now? Oh my god, I totally forgot. I put up these spider webs and disgusting, they have actual spiders. Yeah, like I said, this cottage is a little bit run down. Um, that's gross. She would not be happy about that. Oh my God, can we get a spider in this picture? <laughs> we can, oh my God, perfect. I don't think she would have such a happy face though. She would have more of like an, oh my God, look at this, this is disgusting. But yeah, she's posting about the spiders at um her new house on social media her school starts in half an hour so i'm just gonna have her browse the web and maybe send some text to her friends until she has to head off to school i think june should get up she's kind of sleeping in this is not how you do it on a farm maybe we'll have some breakfast what kind of options do we have in here so we have one portion of fruit salad, we'll offer that to August and we'll have a slice of pizza. Maybe they can eat together. I kind of wish they had like an outdoor eating area. That would be super cute. Oh, even April is sitting down with us with her water. <laughs> she had to get some water before school and she's out. She didn't even say good morning. She was just kind of in a mood to be honest. She's off to school. I'm just gonna have her have like a normal school day today. She's getting used to the new school, but she's still not ready to try and make friends with anybody. Oh my God, I forgot August can't sit on these chairs. That's so lame. Let's go um sit next to him over here. He's also very stinky. We gotta wash him and change his diaper. But yeah, let's um just have like a little chat with him. See how he's doing. Make funny faces tell a story. They didn't get to spend that much time together yesterday, so we gotta make sure that he is adjusting okay to their new life here. Oh, okay, so our farm definitely does need to be taken care of as well. We need to do some watering and weeding, and this one has bugs as well, so we gotta spray for the bugs and we do need to fertilize our crops for the aspiration so we could buy some fertilizer just don't know how expensive it is okay well we could spend 60 yeah this one would be better but i'm not spending that much money so let's do that and then we'll fertilize a few of these crops but she seems to be enjoying this she's whistling away she does have likes gardening preference so i love gardening june is in her element and this is increasing her fun so that is good what did august get up to Oh my god, he's making a mess back here. How is he still so smelly? Wait, we need to come lecture him, actually. 
So parenting, discipline, reason, behavior. Let's do calm, ask not to make a mess, and maybe give a talking to as well. Ooh, he got some responsibility. That's good. Okay, and he didn't even take that one too bad. That's okay. We'll give him a hug or something after all this lecturing so he doesn't feel like we're only telling him off. Aw, oh, there's the hug. Okay, good. All right, I really want to talk to Angel. So I want to get from this little friendship bar to friends. But Angel is very happy and she's clean. Oh, there should be some eggs to harvest as well. But let's uh, tell her a joke about foxes. That, that's not too funny though, is it? Because foxes are very dangerous to chickens. That is a bad joke. It's like a dark joke, actually. Ask if golden chickens exist. Yes, please. I would love a golden chicken. And let's smother Angel with love as well. I think the first fair coming up is the chicken fair. Yeah, it is. So we do want to get a good egg. And then I guess we'll take little Angel with us because she's our only chicken to participate in the chicken competition. Her lifestyle is in progress, that's good. And you might have just seen, this is so cute. We befriended our first animal, which is great. We have so many nice moodlets, animal bonding, chicken love. Let's start, let's collect the egg that should be in here. Let's get our second egg. Yeah, we collected one egg. It wasn't special or hatchable, but that's okay. Uh, the coop, coop isn't dirty yet either. Oh yeah, we do need to go around and water all of our plants. Oh, and continue with the fertilizing. I only fertilized one crop so far. So gotta make sure I finish that as well. And yeah, I said I wanted to plant some of these berries. I might get rid of the mushrooms. Like, I don't know how much we'll need. Especially this taro plant. I feel like we're just not gonna need that. There we go. We are completing this part of the aspiration as well. Okay, great. So the last thing we need for this stage is to properly befriend a rabbit or a bird flock. Little August came to talk to the plant as well. That is so cute. Oh my god, he reached communication level three. I want him to um, go socialize with our little chicken as well. Hopefully they can get along better than yesterday. She's currently planting the chocolate berry and in here we're gonna be putting the raspberry. Oh my god, he's so cute. I'm obsessed with them. Let's um hug Angel. Hopefully this can work this time. Can I see what their friendship level is? It is very low. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. <gasps> no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Angel literally hugged August back. Okay, new best friends about to happen. They're so gonna be besties. Oh my God, I did not know there were wild birds right over here, like not so far from our house. Wait, this is literally perfect. I need to come over here and get to know these birds. Wait, if we could do that in today's episode as well, and then we could be done. That would complete this part of our aspiration. I haven't seen many foxes, so I haven't been able to do this just yet. But we do need to work on these because we need money ASAP. I want to be able to buy us more things. But yeah, we're gonna talk to the birds. This is just like talking to the chickens about the foxes. Talk to the birds about the cats. Sure, let's um, admire them as well. And show our dance moves. Ask about a value of a bird in the hand, whatever that means. We can't ask for gardening help yet. We need to become friends first, but that would be super, super useful. Maybe we can discover their gift preferences too. Can't actually see any birds. I don't know where they are, but April is done with school for the day. She's doing satisfactory work. She's feeling very uncomfortable. Holy crap, she needs a shower. How are we doing over here with the birds? Oh, the flock has left. Oh my god, they left because they reacted badly to a question? Oh my god, it better not have been about the cats. It says bye bye birdies. Julie unintentionally scared away the birds. Hopefully they'll come back soon. Yeah, I hope so too. 
I didn't realize, but April's actually sad from a bummer school day. Oh my god, I feel so bad for her. She's not adjusting well to her new high school. She's literally crying. We need to post about this on our Instagram story. Okay, at least she put on a brave face <laughs> for the picture. Let's check our social media timeline yet again. We need to see what's going on. She's actually just gotten a phone call from Rahul asking her to go hang out. So I think we're going to do that in the next episode. We're going to go hang out with Rahul, see if they have anything in common, you know, if they could actually become friends or more, who knows? <laughs> So I think I'm gonna leave this part here. She looks miserable and we're gonna continue in the next episode Hopefully very soon, but give this part a thumbs up if you did enjoy it Subscribe if you're new here leave any suggestions down below along with name suggestions for our future animals Oh my god, April actually looks happy for once So I'm gonna leave this part here like I said and we are gonna continue very very soon. Thank you so much for watching and bye!